Hey YouTubers, wanted to bring you part two of my modifications to the Predator 103. Last time we looked at the rod holders that I had attached to the rear of the boat. We also took a look at the 55 pound thrust Minn Kota. The cup holders that uh, were velcroed in place and the paddle storage which is on the outside of the boat. New mods I've installed is the anchor locking system. This is made by Shoreline. Looks like it'll work pretty good. I'm able to get an angle on it for the way that I want to route the rope. The rope goes through a locking mechanism here but can be easily detached by simply pulling up slightly. And for those that are concerned, I will remove the anchor before I drive down the road. That way it won't beat the boat up. Next modification is a 8 inch deck hatch. Got this at Academy. Installed it with a frosting bucket. That bucket came from Brookshire's. I think it's the same brand that they use at Walmart. So the frosting buckets that they have in the bakery fit perfectly with this 8 inch um, um, hole fitting. What I did is I cut the hole, I removed some foam and uh, dropped it in place, cut the bucket so that it fit, uh, so that it gives me about a half inch before it touches the hole, and pop riveted and epoxied it in place. Another modification here up front that you can see is the installation of a voltage indicator for the battery, USB ports. and 12 volt automobile out jack for accessories. <clears throat> Have installed two additional rod holders in the front. I went with the cheaper ones. These are the Bass Raiders. They're about half the price of the, uh, the ones I put in the back. I'm wondering if uh, they'll hold up as well. I figured that'd be kind of an experiment to see how well they do. I don't suspect that these will be used as much as the ones in the back anyway. <clears throat> Coming back here to the aerator. I installed a bubbler. Looks like the Velcro that I'm using may not hold up in the really humid environment it's going to be in. If so, I'll come up with a different mount. But uh, put the bubbler in place in order to uh, keep the fish alive in the live well. Continuing to move aft. Here's the Scotty transducer mount in place with the transducer. This is from a Hummingbird Helix 7. I'm hoping that it sits properly so that uh, it, it will not get interference from the trolling motor. Looks like I may have to shim it a little bit more or uh, use some other method in order to get it per aligned properly with the boat. And this is the Helix 7, which I'll be using. And that completes the modifications that I've made to this little Pelican Predator 103. So, if you want any particulars, just leave a message and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Uh, please like and leave any additional comments. Thank you.